And let's take a quick look at this. This is an example of the, the, the thing, some of the things that make me question what's going on here with this game and, and uh, how the system's working for me. So we're looking at Guam and we're looking at this assault that we're about to conduct here. And I've got, uh, these guys are suppressed and they're in a town. So they have a defense of eight divided by two is four. So defense of four, I've got uh, 28, I've got 30 here. So it's five to one or better. And uh, I was just doing the math in my head, make sure that was right. Uh, I get plus two for this guy. And in fact, I, I may not even be able to use him. I would have to use another air unit. So let's use this guy. Let's just, so we keep it all legit. So that'd be plus two. And I get one for the engineers, plus three. And I get one for the Marine Regiment because they're both, uh, there's two Marine battalions underneath that engineering uh, company here. So that's plus four, right? <clears throat> now, minus one for the town, that brings it down to plus three. And let me see if there's anything else. Now, I could have put naval support, but I have used all my Navy uh, forces in all the other assaults. This is the last assault for the turn. I have no armor involved, and it's not in the clear anyway. I have, uh, I could get artillery support on there. I could probably put one factor. There's a guy, this guy here could probably lay in. So that'd be one more. All right. So that's interesting. What that does then is bring us up to a plus four, and I roll a two, that makes it a six. Right, a six on a five to one means that the attacker loses one and the defender has to lose two steps. So I would lose these two units, but I can retreat. So I will retreat and I believe I can retreat both of the units, can I? Or do I have to lose one? Let's check real quickly. Combat exploitation, combat results. Uh, steps or retreated hexes. Uh, attacker losses must be taken from active units, not suppressed units, right? Suppressed units cannot retreat and if uh, forced to take, okay, so that's, whew, that solves that problem then. I was about to get upset, here's why. I thought, you know, these guys, if these guys weren't suppressed, they could just retreat to hexes and I would then be having to lose an engineering company and uh, I would gain the hex, but I've lost an engineering company and then two little companies of tanks. So we're talking, you know, uh, what are we talking? I mean, they put these are platoons anyway. We're talking, you know, eight or 10 tanks and two full battalions attacking and they get to get off scot-free. I was not buying that, but because they're suppressed, they're both gonna die. So that that's goodness, so that works better than I thought, but I still have to lose a freaking engineering company, which kind of sucks. Okay, so I can advance into this hex one. These go back to the flown boxes, and that, whew, I'm glad we worked that out. Uh, so that then, these two battalions, Stay. I'm gonna move one battalion in because we don't want to expose ourselves. Well, actually they can't advance, so these guys can't get in here. So there we go, we can do that. And that then puts us in a situation where we will be fighting that, uh, that set of guys next turn. All right, okay, well that's much better. Um, nevertheless, you'll still see though at the five to one level there's a fair amount of risk there where uh, rolling a two or three, a one, two or three is, uh, is going to be bad for us and rolling uh, too high, 10, 11 or 12, uh, we would uh, lose two steps as well, which means I would have to break this guy down and take an additional uh, step loss to take those tanks out. All right, neither here nor there, not, uh, I thought I had, uh, Finally found the thing that was going to break the camel's back for me, <laughs> but I'm good. So we're going to carry on and uh, keep playing.